Welcome to Twitter vs. Susie Lou part 5. Five parts. Jesus Christ. The last time a drama happened that spanned five Twitter vs. parts was I'm Alex, and that happened over the course of multiple months. This has only been going on for a couple weeks, and Susie Lou has already earned herself five Twitter vs. parts alongside a bonus episode with Steejo the Cuck. And keep in mind that on part four, I was actually catching up with a lot of stuff I missed over the last week. If I really wanted to, I could make this channel exclusively on Suzy Lou news and have almost bi-daily uploads with the amount of shenanigans that are going on with her in particular. So since this is the sixth time I'm talking about her in a video, I am not going to catch you up with what has happened so far. If you want to know what's going on, please watch one of my many other videos on Suzy Lou. Today, we are just going to focus on the updates. And oh boy, there sure is a lot of them. The first one is a tweet that Suzy Lou made on the 25th of April that says, Can confirm, Suzy Lou is not getting sued. Lol, I feel like I need to make this a daily reminder for gullible folk online. If I was being sued, I think I'd know about it before a bunch of randoms on the internet. Now go play outside, you bunch of bored saddos. Well, I'm sorry, Susie, but us saddos can't go outside due to a certain pandemic that's going on. I don't know if you're aware with all the frantic copyright dodging you've been doing, but uh, there's other things going on in the world. Now, I find this tweet particularly funny because not even a week after this was posted, Susie Liu ran into some legal trouble. Because on the 30th of April, over 100 anime reactions got removed from her YouTube channel for violating copyright. This first came to everyone's attention when John Swan tweeted out, Every single reaction on Suzy Liu's second channel has been claimed and blocked from YouTube. A gargantuan amount of videos have also been deleted on her main channel due to claims and subsequent blocks by a number of anime copyright holders. The walls are closing in. He then shows a screenshot showing that every video on Suzy Liu's second reaction channel has been removed. It was indeed due to a copyright claim by a third party. And on her main channel, she lost over 4 million views worth of video. John Swan continues to talk about this by saying, I estimate anywhere from 60 to 100 videos have been claimed and blocked. This is a massive development. And I was told the companies would be taking action very soon against this content on YouTube. Allegedly, there was also talks of a massive lawsuit. Stay tuned for updates on that. A couple hours after this tweet, John Swan had another interesting Suzy Lou update. He tweets out, Because Suzy Lou's website security is rubbish, we are finally able to see what host she is using by looking at a subdomain. Unsurprisingly, Suzy Lou is using a website host that ignores DMCAs. I don't know how more sketchy this can get. It's the same company that hosted 8chan. He then shows a screenshot of Suzy Lou's website being hosted by a Bello host BV, which is also ranked as the number two host site that is used for ignoring DMCAs. He continues to talk about this by saying, To be clear, this will not prevent her getting sued or slapped with a cease and desist. This just means that the host won't take action against her content if the anime companies contact them. Consequentially, they will have to come for her directly, and that's a fight I want to see. This info was found by John Doe Erie. I didn't catch this originally, so big props to him. Now, Suzy Lou never responded to her having a website host that ignores DMCA, but she did respond to a bunch of her videos being removed from YouTube when she tweeted out, Just woke up to an email from a copyright troll who struck all my channels and threatens to continue to do so until I do what they are demanding me to. I love the smell of blackmail in the morning. Now you can understand why I made a website. Business as usual, they have all been countered, and YouTube are investigating on their end. Ben Skiff responds to her by saying, Can't be blackmailed if they own the content. Unknighted says, Can we see this email? If they are a troll, then you shouldn't care about showing their info. And if still, then blur it. What are their demands? Why would a troll target some but not all? Mundane Matt pulled this exact same excuse, and look what happened. Just for once, show proof. Nick then replies, She can't prove the lies that fall out of her mouth constantly. Lucy's forehead responds, Screenshot it or it didn't happen. CDTV Production says, Hey Susie, McDonald's still got a slot for clown mascot. Just the tip of things don't go well with YouTube. Flare Dark Slayer says, That ain't a troll sunshine. That's classic karma catching up to you. Also, don't cover yourself with YouTube. 
Copyright claims and appeals are managed by the ones claiming, not YouTube. Anyone who experienced copyright claim there even once knows this well. Unless you seriously have someone at YouTube's team covering your sorry butt, who knows. Michelle says, For once, just tell the truth. Some of us actually know how copyright and takedowns work, for the love of God. If we were wrong, then show the proof, or just take the L and admit you messed up. Dallas Lawson responds, I don't know shit about copyright and fair use, but I know more than her and Stejo. Thomas the T34 Tank says, How dare someone strike Susie Lou's channel? It's not like she's been uploading uncut anime episodes or something. Oh wait. Judgmental Crow says, If YouTube removed the videos, maybe it's just you, Forehead Chan? Zeno K Heart says, Susie, for the love of God, educate yourself on copyright and how it works on YouTube. I am 100% certain that you are not being attacked by trolls. Rather, your videos are rightfully taken down by the owners of the anime you steal. You had this coming, people warned you, and for fuck's sake, quit using haters and trolls. What are you, five? Do you know the meaning behind these words? Nicholas Diorio then posts his initial reaction to this on Twitter. <laughs> John Swan says, Susie Liu has responded, this was not a copyright troll, because people without the copyright ID CMS, which is restricted to corporations and big YouTubers only, cannot claim and block videos. They can only file a DMCA takedown. These claims were made by legitimate anime companies. Nice try, Susie. But YouTube can't take action against legitimate copyright claims. I also doubt it took you this amount of time to counter 60 to 100 claims. And if you did, it would be a very stupid move. Just one rejection out of 100 and you can't upload for a week. Oopsies. Cordwit says, I'm in hysterics. Any fucking sweaty nerds on the internet that have no idea about anything to do with the law and they spout this word fair use like they understand anything to do with the DMCA, you're clueless. So they say it's a false copyright strike and I've got something that'll fix every one of your fucking videos. It ain't false. It's only a false copyright strike if it's not from the copyright holder. Oh man. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> no. Twiz Fizz hopped on the Susie Lou train by dressing up as her and saying, about to watch some anime, and then releasing a parody song on Susie Lou with the caption, not a song about Susie Lou. Reacting to anime online Yes, it's highly illegal But for me, it's fine Oh no, now there's commentary I don't like what you said about me Your vid went down, what a mystery No, you can't see my flag history What's the big deal? I swear my work is all fair use Here, I'll show your reaction now Just for proof down because it made her look stupid. Um, that is definitely a violation of the DMCA system. So there you go. There, there's your evidence. She literally admitted to it in this video. My channel was taken down once by TV Tokyo. YouTube got it back, but I swear no special treatment though. Why won't all you commentators just go ahead and die? If you want your channel strike dead, then go on talk about my forehead Make me money from stolen property And someone at YouTube looks after me properly Watching an anime And striking down videos, that's what I do But you can't do shit about it cause my name's if you want to check out more of Twiz Fizz's videos, the link to her channel will be in the description below. But that was about it for the reactions to Susie Lou having her videos removed from YouTube for copyright violation. But that wasn't the only thing that got removed of Susie Lou's. If you guys remember in my last video on Susie Lou, Twitter vs Susie Lou Part 4, I read off a lengthy update post from Susie Lou's Patreon, where she said that all of her videos with full anime reactions were going to be moved over to her website exclusively. But she ended up backtracking really fast on that statement, as a couple days after making it she ended up deleting it and then continued uploading full animes to 
just Patreon as usual. Basically, Susie Lee's Patreon was completely cleared. We reported on this. Uh, all her posts were deleted by her, seemingly. I'm thinking she probably got some email from Patreon telling her this is probably not good. Or maybe she got hit with some sort of a notice. I don't know why she would take all this stuff down if it was generating her so much revenue. Um, she said she was going to move over to a website, but then her website wasn't ready. And it was a massive problem. So let's check in again on the Patreon here. Uh, you get six videos now. And there is still anime uploaded on the Patreon. This went on for about a week until Patreon themselves shut down the page in order to review it for violating their community guidelines. John Swan comments on this by tweeting out, Susie Lou's Patreon is under review. <laughs> Susie Lou, are you gonna say this is a Patreon troll now? Repsion quote tweets John and says, uh oh, spaghetti o. John Swan continues to talk about this by saying, Yo, do you think Susie Lou could publish her unedited reactions on OnlyFans? He then follows up this tweet with a quote tweet he got from someone that says, But naked. Oh boy, that is not a sight I want to see. Pimp Master Yoda tweets about Susie Lou by saying, We warned you, Team YouTube, to stop Susie Lou's behavior and breaking copyright law. Now the community fixed it on our own. Remember this outcome. Remember this? You do, Team YouTube? Back in April, claimed you did the copyright abuse, find you did not, on Susie Lou's YouTube channel. Reacting to entire episodes of anime she was, barely uttering a word. Yet, copyright abuse you claimed to not see. So, problems I said there would not be. The hard way the community is always happy to handle things. And the hard way, we goddamn did it. Down for the count, the Patreon of Susie Lou is. Her reaction videos, many of which offline they have been taken. Her website, next it shall be. The Rebel Alliance, closing in they are. The wrong forehead. You have backed Team YouTube and solved this problem. We did. Attempted to simp the forehead harlot. You tried. And in return. Squashed. You got. Once again, Team YouTube. This outcome, remember you must. Or once again, history repeat itself, it will. When the next time the community warns you, act upon our concerns, you should. Failed, you previously have to handle our past concerns in other areas of opportunity and apocalypses it created. While jealous, I know your asses must be from all the shit that pours out of your mouth. Attempt, you must, to use your smooth brains to think. Next time, we meet. This is not what happened if you also said to me. Misa got that big old horse dong. Whoop, whoop. Willie Mac Show tweets out, I just realized the only reason Susie Lou has power at YouTube is because employees are trying to forward important emails to Susan Wojcicki and they accidentally forward them to Susie Lou. Honest mistake, really. Susie Lou reacts directly to all the Patreon stuff by saying, Active patrons, as promised, we have been working on the VIP package since December, and now it's here. You will receive an email in the upcoming days on how to redeem your codes to join as VIP on the website. Have a great Tuesday, folks. Naruto coming later. Eric Marshall responds to her by saying, Translated. Her Patreon got shut down and the walls are closing in. Only upside is they won't go after people for watching, but her and boyfriend are in a lot of trouble. Josh Pescator then tweets out, Breaking. It's official. Susie Lou has sent out an email to patrons to tell them to move to her official website. Quote, Patreon is very limiting with what it offers, and that's why I'm deciding to part ways with them. Claiming Patreon has not been helpful with copyright trolls, GG Patreon. This Patreon email from Susie Lou reads out, Hey everyone, in the next few days I will be sending out an email to all of you subscribed on here. This will be an email to join my VIP package on my website. I've been talking about this since back in December, when we sold the Christmas cards, and now I'm so excited it's finally here. In the email it will explain exactly what benefits you will receive on the website site as VIP. And because you have all been charged for this month, and there won't be content on this Patreon anymore, 
you can expect a free month on the website with content. Patreon is very limited in what it offers, and that's why I'm deciding to part ways with them. They've not been helpful whenever I've had to deal with any copyright trolls, and as you may or may not know, I've been dealing with quite a few of those lately. Thank you all to those who've been a part of this Patreon, and I will see you over on the website soon. Make sure your emails are all visible to me on here, so you can get the email to join. Love, Susie. XX. Now this is normally the part of the video where I say that's about it for the drama, but in reality it really isn't. There was a lot more stuff that was discussed in regards to Suzy Liu on Twitter, including a beef between her and former YouTuber Becky Boop, some drama going on with her cameo page, and a bunch more crying tweets from her cuck boyfriend Steejo. But this video is already getting pretty long and it's a lot to go through so I'm going to be saving that for another video. Because of this I tweeted out as a joke, okay guys you can all stop tweeting. I have enough for a 10 minute video already. Scarce then responded, wait, let me get one in here. Boblax is the best YouTuber to ever grace this platform. If you agree, subscribe to youtube.com slash scarce. Thanks. Yes, if you do think that, you should be subscribed to Scarce, but you should also sub to me with notifications on. If you haven't turned on notifications, make sure those are turned on because YouTube can be pretty stupid when it comes to notifying you on a new video. Alternatively, you could also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with my new videos as well as many other things. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular Josh Pescator and Mr. Personality, who have both donated $30 a month. They have pretty cool YouTube channels if you'd like to check those out. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.